Parents, what spooky past life memory did your kid utter? Was watching an old video of a jazz drummer playing a solo. No idea who it was but he was really good. My daughter, probably age 3, was looking over my shoulder for a minute before she said I used to play the drums like that when I was a man at it. When I got up this morning this had blown up. Thanks for the awards and hilarious comments. My daughter is the one who deserves an award so I will pass it on. Unfortunately she has no longer has any recollection of making that statement or playing drums. But she is a very musical person and am hoping she stays that way. You should get her some sticks. Right, let's see if Buddy Rich still got it. I laughed way too hard at this, thank you. My little brother said when he was three or four, when I was a grown-up, I went to war and I never came back. When my little brother was three or four he said wouldn't it be funny if we just put tacos all over the floor? And I live by that every day. I mean it would have been pretty funny to do that. Answer for my parents when I was four my parents and I went to my aunt's farm. The wind started picking up and I looked back at my parents and said gotta tie the hay bale down in the wind. That's how David died. To this day no one knows who David is. Weird, a man named David died after a hay bale fell on him last year WFMZ.com. Oh duck, the time loop is closing. Homie isn't having past visions, he's having future visions. My middle son used to talk about having a different mom before me. He would say she was blonde and looked nice but wasn't nice. He would bring it up randomly and only ever got a bit emotional when he would tell me that when he was with her he never got to grow up. He said he chose me to be his mom this time because I would let him grow up and get old. When he would say the last part it was as if he was looking for reassurance. Head asked me like right, mom? I can grow up this time. Really duck me up sometimes. Dude that's the creepiest for me so far. My nephew, around two or three, would talk about his other mom and then look confused when you asked him to elaborate. She's not here now. Might have been daddy's girlfriend. Either that or ducking Coraline. My five-year-old daughter said to me I was in your belly twice, mama. The first time I died before I came out, but I came back. I did lose my first pregnancy eight months before getting pregnant again. She was never told. I don't know what it was but that's what happened. Edit, thanks everyone. In typical Reddit fashion, I didn't expect this one to blow up quite so much. Lol. But my daughter is pretty awesome and has a crazy amazing memory. She recalls events from when she was two. So, she very likely heard my husband and I discussing it. Any other explanation sort of, well, creeps me out. Ha. Huh. And pregnancy after miscarriage is a weird bundle of emotions. I understand how this can help people when they are feeling a loss but that was not my intention with the post or anything. If it helps, I'm very happy to have shared this weird little memory. Be well everyone. I had that memory also. When I told my mom, she was shocked. I'm an only child I never knew she was pregnant before me. But she was that's when she admitted it. My son said once, Mommy, when I was big and you were little, I remember when we danced in the kitchen. The only person I ever danced in a kitchen with as a child was my grandfather. Comforting and yet creepy at the same time. Depends on the child's voice. Demon voice yes child voice yes. I remember when we danced in the kitchen. I used to watch my nephew when he was about 3 or 4. One day he was at my house and pointed to a magnet of Arizona, it had a picture of the desert with rock formations. Kid pointed at it and asked where it was. He said he used to live by red rocks like that with his first family who all had straight, dark hair, his is blonde and curly. Now, and that he had a mom and a dad and he had had a brother until he went too far into the desert too close to dark and got eaten by not dogs, not wolves but smaller. I said coyotes? And he kind of mouthed the word and said, oh, that's what you call them. Then he was sad and didn't want to talk about it anymore so we had lunch and that was the first and last time he mentioned it. As soon as I could talk, about two, I would tell my parents about my moon family and how I had lived with them until I said a bad word and got sent to earth and landed in a bush where my mom made a salad from the leaves and that's how she had me. I would make my mom so mad by telling her she was doing stuff differently than my moon mama. Edit, thank you guys so much for telling me all about the difference folklores and stories that reminds you of my silly little story, I can't wait to learn more about Princess Kaguya, and a few others mentioned. 
Am not sure about past lives but I have to wonder if the collective unconscious might be something to look into. When my son was four we had driven past a cemetery. He asked me if I remembered when he died and was buried. I said no and asked him what he meant by saying that. He said he had died, was buried in a cemetery and that's when he started growing in my belly. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up when he said this. He doesn't remember say this. When my nephew was about three or four my sister said he was throwing a tantrum in the car while he was in his car seat and he yelled at her randomly I waited 100 years to be born. You trying to tell me Teresa 100 year waiting list to be reincarnated. Interesting to think about, I wonder if he just chose to wait that long. Two world wars? Odd duck that made ill try back in a bit. Hey boys I'm gonna sit out for a few games. Surprise global pandemic, ah shit. I don't have kids but when my brother was a toddler he said something to my mom about throwing hay in the window for the horses. My grandfather died before his birth and was a farmer. The barn had windows and he would just throw the hay in the windows for the horses to eat. My mom was really freaked out but he never said anything else similar again. To entertain the idea for a moment, did your grandfather die while your mom was pregnant? Sucks giving birth to your own dad. We'll never see this sentence again. Didn't believe in ghosts and shit until this day but it's fair to say that now I have a slightly more open mind. Our 23-year-old daughter was playing on her own but like she was playing hide and seek with an imaginary friend. Asked are you playing hide and seek? She said yes. Who are you playing with? Uncle Andrew my wife's brother Andrew was 7 when he drowned when my wife was 5. Didn't like to talk about it so we never mentioned it. My cousin's kid was jumping on the bed and had her hands out like she was holding on to something. When asked what she was doing, she said playing with grandpa. Cousin asked who's grandpa? Yours mommy when asked what he looked like, she described him to a T. And jumping on the bed was such a grandpa thing to do. He had died when she was five months old, and my grandma died before she was born. Couple days later, they were at my mom's, and my mom had a picture of her parents. She walked up, dragging her brother with her and said, look Jay, that's grandma and grandpa. Remember? They play with us sometimes. In a weird, creepy, sort of way that's very sweet. My grandparents were not overly nice people so I missed out on that part of my life. Hearing about grandparents playing with their grandkids, even under the circumstance you mentioned makes me happy because even though they may be gone, your cousin's kids are still getting to have that moment. My grandma raised me. My mom was a single mom for a while, so grandma was my babysitter. When she died, we had been sharing a bedroom. She was more mom than my mom ever was. When I was three I used to tell my mom stories about my other family every night before bed. The siblings I had and the dog too. One day she took me to Target and I told her I wanted big girl undies and she said she would buy them for me and I could wear them when I was potty trained. I told her that my other family already potty trained me so I can start wearing them now. I put them on that day and never had an accident after that. She never potty trained me and was just shocked. Would totally accept creepy story for someone else potty training my kid. I had a brother pass away from brain cancer. At the time we had a cat who was a calico and just sort of knew he was battling something. She was really mean to most people but with him she was gentle. He would grab her paws and she would just let it happen. Well about three years after he passed my parents had another child. Another boy. He was about three when he told my parents about the white, brown and black cat that used to let him grab her paws. She had died about a year before he was born. My son told my parents all about Coco and Boo Boo. Describe the cats to them. He was four. My cats, Coco and Boo Boo had died four or five years before he was born. When my mom showed him various pictures of cats we had had, he pointed them both out and told her Coco liked to knock things off the table. Coco had a nickname, Princess Knock It Off because she would knock over anything she could. I didn't have any pictures of these cats myself, so had never seen them. I didn't talk to him about them either, because we had other cats now. Coco and Boo Boo were litter mates and a bonded pair. 